Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Eric. Wanted to do another video, talk to you guys about what I am most passionate about. Could talk about it all day long because it's helped our business out the by far the most out of anything else, and that is online marketing. Marketing. If I was gonna offer a service to you guys, which I probably will down the road, it's gonna be marketing and online marketing. So, um, if you guys don't want to do it for some reason well not for some reason it'd be guys that are making good money and don't have time to do it and want to outsource it and then that's basically who would be you know otherwise I'll just show you guys some of the stuff that you should be doing if you guys ask a good question uh, you know I'll do a video and show you whatever pretty much you want to know um, Anyways, so what I what I first want to talk about, I actually wrote a couple of things down here, is first off, it's super important for you guys to have a website. And the crazy thing about websites is the guys that there's guys making millions of dollars, if not millions, multiple, multiple, multiple heavy six figures, and they don't even have a website or haven't had a website yet. And that's just crazy to me. It's absolutely crazy, you know, but, you know, what can I say? I don't know. It's crazy. Um, and then there's also the guys that are just getting started and they don't have a website, which is absolutely crazy because it's the cheapest thing you could do. And I mean the cheapest thing you could do. I mean, you just basically when you're starting your lawn care business and you're and you don't have any money, Learn how to do some stuff on the computer. If you're watching this video, you could make yourself a little word uh, press blog and try to get some stuff done with it. You know, buy a domain that costs ten bucks, and you know, just some stuff like that. And or, you know, hire someone to help you with it. Trade your services for someone to help build a website for you for a couple hundred dollars. Do not spend you know thousands of dollars on your website you don't need to do that okay and it's one of the craziest things once you start knowing what you need to do the stuff is just tedious it's not very hard I'm not saying build your own website but I'm just saying if you have the capabilities to do that you could or you could like I said trade some services for for it or spend you know tops five hundred dollars and get a decent website and I mean not optimized but just a website the things that you do to optimize your site are tedious and take time so if you're new and you don't have any money to invest in you know having somebody help you do it or do it for you then take the time to learn how to do it and start doing it and the work you do now will benefit you years to come as long as you decide to stay in the lawn care industry, okay? So, what I'm going to talk to you about, especially for the new guys, please don't get overwhelmed with this, but just, this is more for someone that has a website, they're getting some results, they see the, the potential, and they want to do, like, they just want to get more results. And I want to talk to you guys about multiple websites, and this would be for either service areas or what I do for is for high profitability services. Basically the services that I really enjoy doing, like to do, that I make the most money on. I might put a website out specifically for that service in cities that I want to rank high at and, and be found at. Okay, And basically the way that I look at it is dominating you know, a dynasty of sites and basically how SEO works is through on-site um, what would it be for it be on-site tweaking of your website to make make it optimized and then off-site stuff that you can do to make your website optimized to show up and basically what all that means is, is as plain and simple as, as as I can get is 
Google wants, but I'm just going to talk about Google because that's really the main one. The way that Google gets people to use Google is when people go to Google and they have a problem, when you specifically go to Google, because you go to Google, you know, or like YouTube, and you have a problem and you want to learn how to get on, get your website posted somewhere, or you want to figure out how to do the best stripes in the line you can and Google that. And something shows up about helping your, you know, relieving back pain, or you're in the lawn care industry and, and it's about the lawn care industry, the insurance is high or something like that, then you're going to go to another search engine like Bing or something like that. Or maybe it's just completely stupid, like you type in lawn care service and like lawnmowers show up or something and they're trying to sell you lawnmowers and that's totally not what you search for. That's the worst thing that Google could possibly have happened to them. Basically, this is the psychology of basically Google and how their algorithm work. They don't want that to happen because you're going to get upset and you're not going to want to buy. You're not going to. You're going to go to Bing or you're going to go to Yahoo and find something there instead. And you won't use Google anymore. So what Google does to make sure that doesn't happen is they have their algorithms that basically they just want to make sure that what you are saying your website about is about like how many title tags and stuff like that, other tags and crap that I could show you if you ask or whatnot. Um is basically true to what you're saying from your tags to the content in your website. Alright? And they want to make sure that all that stuff is right. So Maybe you talk about a lot about lawn care on your website, but if you don't mention where you're from, well, then you might show up for lawn care in Russia or something. You know, I mean, you're, you're not going to be where you want to be because you got to talk about specific things, streets, places, uh, things that might be happening in your town creatively, not like just repeating a bunch of stupid crap about what's going on in your city or town or state, but you do it in a creative way, and then you, you and you say that you mow the lawn, then you say that you take care of the turf, and you say that the pH in the soil has to be just right, and if it's not, then you will put gypsum in it. Okay, so I just named off like one, two, three, four, like five different things that all have to do with the lawn care industry. And the way Google ranks you is if you talk about those things, and all of a sudden now stuff starts clicking and say, okay, this guy is actually talking about what he's saying his website's about, which is then going to say, okay, so it's safe that if someone sees this site, then they're not going to be pissed off at us because it's, it's, it's you know, it doesn't make any sense. Okay, so I'm trying to explain to you how what how to talk to them so that they in return put your website at the top. So that's the on your website. The off of your website is when you put out good content, like when I put out videos like this, and this is super niche, so it's not quite the same thing as at, on a more broader scale. But when I put out a video like this, if it's garbage then no one cares about it. It's stupid. But if it's not garbage and people are actually interested in it, they start leaving comments. They start asking questions. They start posting it on their Facebook. You know, if it was something funny or, if, you know, that's how stuff goes viral or whatever. And it's the same thing with off-site marketing, which would be you going out and actively trying to link, build, and get links that are the best thing would be are that have something in common with your website. The easiest thing that has something to do with your website is if you talk to other businesses in your area that have no clue about website optimization, and you can say, "Hey, uh, we should swap links," and 
basically now you have something in common. And Google says, okay, this guy is in Denver, Colorado. He's a plumber, and this guy is in Denver, Colorado. He's a snowplower guy. He, you know, he's a lawn care maintenance person. Okay, this makes sense. They're next to their neighbors. They things start clicking. You know, one of our links is on the university. One of our pictures is on our the university of the state that I live in's website. So basically, I have a link to the unit. You know, so that's awesome. I mean, that's really good at and. When you have links from high profile sites like that, it gives you credibility to Google to say, okay, I feel comfortable with putting your stuff, your websites everywhere, you know, and you popping up first before all your comp competitors, which is basically money in your pocket. Now, how I look at this is a game of monopoly, all right? And this is where the multiple websites come into play. Over time, what you want to do is you want to have your core rock website, which would be your specific business name. You know, so whatever it is, RyansLawnCare.com. If that's the name of your business. Once you have that site, and this is how I did it. I didn't even know if it was going to work when I started, and that was a long time ago. But once you have that site, that's your that's your rock and you run everything through there. And you do it the best you can to get that site out as much as you can. And you start feeling like, okay, I got this down, I want to start expanding. You know, this area is really up to and it has lots of really nice houses. There's lots of lawn care people in that area. Why don't I try to start marketing there? Or this area has tons of businesses in it. So chances are if I want to do commercial and I want commercial people to call me, then I should probably try to get on the top of Google in this town because it's very industrial and that's where I want to take my business, which a lot of people don't even think like that. So just take a second and just think of what I just said. If you're marketing online, 99% of the time you're going to be getting residential clients. But if you market in an area of an, an area of maybe a major huge city, like say San Francisco and and then you know there's all the suburbs around the area there might be some suburbs specifically that are way more industrial and have a lot more businesses in them where you can pick up some business accounts uh, that's a little tidbit on just on what you're on what you're watching just in case you didn't hear that. Um, anyway, so I don't remember if I said this or not, but basically, it's like a game, and I call I think of it as like a game of Monopoly. When you're playing Monopoly, you're trying to get well, you're trying to get a Monopoly for one. So, you, so if it was Google, Google has ten spots on their site, plus they have the Google local, you know. It, you're shooting to get all ten spots so that when someone looks at your stuff, they're looking at, you know, there's no no one other person that makes sense than to call you, and you kind of put a lock on things. Uh, side note is let's say that you are a newer company, and you're just getting started, and you don't even really know what you're doing. One of the coolest things for you in getting at the top of Google is that you're competing with professionals. You're not competing with the other guy that just has a mower that, you know, whatever it is, the reason that he's not very big yet, right? You're not competing with that. You're competing with legitimate lawn care companies that have insurance, that have all the licenses, that have experience, that pay workman's comp up the crapper. <laughs> Sorry, that one's, I mean, it's just ridiculous how much you got to pay. But anyways, because you're just a solo guy, you don't have to pay that. And you can, like, literally be the same price. I mean, I like to value, like, if I'm doing something personally more than if I wasn't doing something, because my time's worth more than someone that works for me's time is. 
So if they're getting me, then they're going to pay a premium price. And that's how I would look at it as I was you. As I, not, I would come across and I would market it as you. I'll be the one that comes out and does your yard, blah, blah, blah. I'm not, you're not going to have some uh, crappy employee that doesn't care come out to your yard. But for that, you're going to pay top dollar. Now, normally what happens is the opposite. Oh, I'm going to come in, I'll do it for $15 when the other guy's charging 50 because I can take that money, pocket it, and just then when you do get big and you do have to start hiring guys, you don't have to come back to that person and say, I really can't charge you $15. You're right on price point and you've been pocketing all that money in the meantime. Okay? And what I'm trying to say is if you're on the top of Google, you're competing with the guys that really know what's going on, that really get it, and it's not hard to do. Uh, I I won't say that. But anyway, so that's that's just something to think about and really study that and try to get on there. So, uh, Monopoly Real Estate. Think of your business as the real estate... Like, you don't have high-end retail spots. I might have touched on this on another video, so I won't go into it very much. You don't have to have high-end retail spots to touch your customers. All you have to do is be able to send them a flyer, market to them, show up on Google for this, the city and the service that they're looking for and the area they live in. So your assets are on Google getting to the top of Google for the services you offer and the cities that you offer is what you need to do. Now, when you want to dominate something, have you can have multiple websites, and this is where the multiple websites come in. And basically when you're link this goes back to the linking and having quality sites linked together and it makes your stuff better and I don't want to confuse you guys, but basically, you can build quality sites for specific cities, for specific towns, for specific services in all these different areas, which is still within, you know, a 30-mile radius, a 50-mile radius of your home shop, you know, where you really are located and run your business from. And you link all that stuff together like a weave it together like a spider web, and you have all of a sudden instant credibility, and you can just start. You want to go into a new territory, you want to add a new service. It's like instant money. You know, you go out, you create a site, you already have a network of sites built up. You add that one website to your network that you've already you've been working on already, and then it skyrockets to the top of Google, and you instantly can start getting business and generating business from that. And this is why we've had such tremendous growth, and that's why I say, let's say you are a company that hasn't done any of this stuff, and you're making let's say $200,000 a year. I really believe that with what I can do for you guys and implement for you guys in your business, there's no reason that you can't, you know, I mean, you should be able to grow tremendously as long as you're open to it. I mean, almost double within a couple of years. I mean, really, I'm not trying to overpromise anything, but it's not real unrealistic. So, because you start showing up, and that's where all the leads are these days anyways, is online. So that's a lot to do with, I think, I'm not going to get into that. Anyways, I hope you guys like the video. You guys should have lots of questions, so I hope to hear them, and I'll answer them. Like I said, one, I've always say this, in the summer and the springtime, I get really busy. We're actually going to be starting a new business this year on top of a the lawn service, so it's uh, it's going to be really busy for us this year. So, if you have a question, best to ask, ask now. And if I don't answer, 
after a month, well, then I will get to you when I get to you, because I'll be back. I just, it's going to be hectic spring, and hopefully it'll be hectic for all you guys, too, which just means you're making money. So, we'll talk to you later.